Well, hello there, Jay here from Server Matter. So I really don't have time to create this video. I am so far behind in my development. But it has been so troublesome to figure out how to access my Ubuntu server via cursor to continue on with development and take advantage of their wonderful AI integration that uh, I just felt it's a disservice not to let anybody else going through this uh, not know about how I eventually threaded the needle. I've got another video out there of how to run Cursor on Ubuntu directly. That was a day-long effort. Um, and when it was all said and done, I found out the login buttons don't work. So you can't use it on Ubuntu, as far as I can tell, at least not on anything that I've tried. So then I thought, well, maybe I can SSH into my Linux server. And, uh, and so I opened up a remote SSH extension that comes with VS Code and therefore comes with Cursor. Opened it up and it threw up an error message saying, sorry, you can't use this extension. It's only for Microsoft uh, versions of VS Code. So they ran a block on this open source extension. Uh, program, but at least as far as the extension goes. So the extension evidently is not open source, at least not if you're running cursor. <laughs> so um, poked around a little bit more, found another extension. Okay, this one is called Open Remote SSH. 81,000 downloads, so it's been around the block. I figured I'd give it a go. So go ahead and install that to start things off. Okay, so now you want to open up PowerShell as an administrator and run this command, which will tell you if you have OpenSSH installed in your Windows environment. Now I'm running Windows 11. I, didn't, I did not install it, it was already there. So pressing that, will respond with something like this. And in my case, it tells me the client is installed. The server is not installed. I don't need the server. The server's on my Linux machine. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's just assume for a moment that we didn't have SSH installed. This command right here will get it in there for you. Now, in this case, it says uh, online true restart needed false because it was already installed. So we can close that. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is create your SSH config file. So Go into your user folder, your Windows user folder, and you see users, your name, and then a folder called SSH. And if it's not there, I guess you need to create it. And, uh, and then you're going to edit the file called config. And in that file, you're going to want to put something like this. Host, whatever name you want to give it. Host name, the IP address to that machine, the username that you can SSH in with, and the uh, port number. Okay, from that location, you can right click and uh, do we have an uh, we have a PowerShell option there? We don't. So let's just choose open in terminal. And then you're going to want to run this command to generate your keys. I'm not going to do that because I've already got some that I'm using there. We can then close PowerShell. And that's going to give you an RSA and a pub file. You're going to want to right click on that pub file and edit in Notepad and grab its key contents. Then you're going to want to go to your server that you would like to SSH into. Open up your, uh, in the user account that you're going to be logging into, you're going to find the hidden file, the SSH file, .ssh, and in that you're going to find an authorized keys file. Now this assumes, of course, that you have open SSH installed on that uh, Ubuntu desktop or server. If not, you'll need to install that first. Uh, install it as the user that you intend to SSH in, and you'll find a, uh, a hidden directory. If not, create it, uh, .ssh, and then inside that, a file called authorized underscore keys. And inside that file, you're going to paste whatever the contents of it, what, whatever that key file was on the pub file on the Windows side. So the moral of that story is the SSH information that, the, that this extension is going to use is actually 
uh, in your users folder. You don't have to configure or add any hosts within um, the extension itself. Okay, now with cursor open, in the lower left corner you see the uh, connect button. It says open a remote window. Click on that. And by default, it's going to say connect to host, and it's going to use the remote SSH extension, which you do not want to do. Even though I have uninstalled the extension, it still shows up. You want the second one that says connect current window to host. I'm not sure why it doesn't show the extension with that, but it doesn't, and that's what works. And then you click the server that you want to connect to. And since you have a key in your users folders, you, you a pub, the pub file, and you put the same thing on the, uh, the server side, it's not going to ask you for any credentials because you've already sorted that out and said it's okay. So now we can open any folder on the server. You see in the terminal, we've already got uh, a look at our uh, Ubuntu environment. We can open a folder and it points us to the folders on the server. We can open up any project we want from there. And that's it. That's uh, what I have discovered today. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the world of cursor and AI and remote servers and all that. It's, I think it's a moving target right now. I'm sure that they'll come out with a Debian file of some kind to make uh, installing that package easy on an Ubuntu environment if you choose to use it that way. In the meantime, who knows? This may end up being superior. So thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you'd like to have a front row seat for any of these videos we create in the future. Bye-bye.